Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share work from our permanent collection and pose some questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for new work and a new chat. My name's Emily Holchup, and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. And the work I chose today may seem a little strange since Cincinnati is going through quite a heat wave. It's called Winter, Little Horse in the Wind by American artist Solon Borglum. Solon Borglum was born in Utah in 1868 and spent most of his childhood on the Nebraska prairie where his father practiced medicine. He started out as a cowboy rancher, but his older brother Gutson, who sculpted Mount Rushmore, persuaded him to pursue art. He took painting lessons in Omaha and shared a studio with his brother in California. Borglum moved to Cincinnati to attend the Art Academy and apprenticed in the studio of sculptor Louis T. Rubiso. Fascinated by horses, he sketched at a local stable and learned equine anatomy by performing dissections on cadavers. In 1897, a prize for his student work provided a small stipend for study in Paris with the leading French sculptors of animals. While studying in France, Borglum clung to his American identity. His French classmates gave him the title Sculptor of the Prairie. He found French sculptor, sculpture too artificial and vowed to let nature direct his art. In winter, Little Horse in the Wind, Borglum believably suggests a horse in its heavy fur coat braced against an icy wind. The artist intended for this sculpture to represent life in the American West, even though it was modeled in Paris. The piece was so admired by patrons of the art museum that it was purchased at once for the collection in 1898. So why did I select this image to share with you today? On one of the hottest days we have had this summer in Cincinnati. Am I dreaming of cooler weather? Yes, yes I am. But I also selected this work because it's one of my favorites in the collection. I pass this work often when walking through the Cincinnati wing and each time it reminds me of winters growing up in West Michigan. I remember vividly walking to the school bus stop in icy winds, bracing myself as I trudged through snowdrifts to catch the bus. It wasn't uphill both ways, but it sure did feel like it. When I take a deeper look at this work, I also think about how we all brace ourselves against the challenges we face every day. Some of us hunker down like Borglum's horse and brace for impact, managing our winter winds with quiet grace. Some of us look those winter winds in the face and say, bring it on. When I'm having a winter winds type of challenge, I think this little horse and shoes, do I hunker down or do I face the wind? What do you do? Answer in the comments below or share in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.